Yeah. Uh-huh. Stunt one on yeah. one. I shoot you how to start My wrist stay wrapped up My TV's pop up And it may best be in I shoot you how to start Hey guys, my name is Habib Hope you guys are aware of our new Server Geeks fan page where you can get all the updates regarding our post all video post, wordpress, blog post and questions and interviews uh, scenario based uh, tips and tricks so just come over here in Facebook and go to Server Geeks and like this page today I am going to talk about a very interesting topic that is tools to troubleshoot DC issues so in a domain controller we can have multiple type of issues uh, like our network is down or maybe DNS is not working and as you know Active Directory depends on uh, a lot on DNS uh, replication so to find out what exactly is happening in DC to troubleshoot and f uh, do the root cause, uh, cause analysis Microsoft uh, provides the, some important tools uh, I'm going to talk about DC Diag tool then rep admin tool and there is a old tool called net diag tool so let me go through dc diag tool so dc diag is a domain controller diagnosis tool this is to check our domain controllers in a forest and to report any problem that is uh, going on and it may help to troubleshoot that issue so when we use this tool so i have listed all the scenarios so first when we are preparing or trying to migrate our exchange to new version let's say you are migrating to um, exchange server 23 to 2010 or to 2013 and to check all the FSMO rules are in place or not is there any issue with FSMO rules assignment to check any group policy related issues and fourth is to inv investigate any Active Directory related issue like replication of FRS, SysVol or some other group policy related issues to check any Kerberos related authentication errors are reported and uh, if any directory service administrator's password is resetting or something and to check uh, SPN related issues and some other issues which we will discover with time to know more about DC Diag tool, uh, I have uh, mentioned the link in the article. I'll be posting this article in the WordPress very soon. You can see the complete article in WordPress. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the commands so that you can get some idea about this uh, tool. So uh, there are a lot of switches in these tools. You can uh, drill down to just see the uh, errors. For that, you can use uh, slash Q. So just type uh, dc diag.exe space uh, forward slash q and if you want to redirect every output to some file then just type the location uh, here is the redirection uh, command and then location and give the name where you want to save you can either save it as something dot log or dot txt so there are a lot of switches here I am going to use verbose logs for verbose log it will try to uh, track everything in detail so let me just copy this command in this infrastructure demo infrastructure I have two domain controller one is primary one is my backup so this is my additional domain controller so I am running this command in my primary and my output should be in C drive and it should be DC Diag dot log. So let's run this command and see what kind of output we get from DC Diag uh, using these switches. So when uh, when we have a DC Diag in place, then why we have Net Admin uh, Net Diag tool? Net Diag tool is an old tool which was used until uh, Windows Server two thousand three version. Now with Windows Server 2008 and later version, we are not using this tool. All the uh, all the focus of using NetDirect tool to, was to check the network related uh, issues or, or troubleshoot any network related uh, problems. Now all these can be achieved using DC Diag only, so we are not using it anymore. Uh, let me check if I am getting any output. So go to C drive 
and see if we have any log file created dc direct dot log yes it is there let me refresh it's still showing 0 kb yeah it is updating so if you see in dc diag we can collect a lot of information regarding our neighbors like if uh, s1 is my primary who is the secondary you can collect, collect all the information like that and here you can see the pds info here it is giving information site wise so likewise it will try to uh, gather all the information and here you can see it is trying to uh, do all kind of tests here uh, test with the child server uh, test with the additional domain controller test with the replication partner like that so it is trying to perform all the test and uh, you can stop this test and you can just uh, put some switches and you can just perform a particular test let's say you just want to check whether DNS is working or working fine or not then you can just perform the DNS part test so to read more about this you can go through this article it will tell you well which test you can perform to achieve what output and if you just refresh this you can get a lot of tests uh, output here so um, let me show you see you see this uh, output here s3 failed test connectivity in my architecture s3 is a child domain sales.habib.com that is right now offline and it is not able to connect that and this is in uh, us site so likewise you can find all these type of outputs here um, let me refresh it again yeah it is still running so so using this command you can gather a lot of logs if you are working as a L2 engineer try to go through all these logs and try to understand what is happening otherwise L3 or L4 engineer do need these kind of logs from you so that they can uh, start investigating from their side alright so this is all about our DC DAG tool and uh, you know when we use this tool so these are the scenarios when we have to use this tool now coming to rep admin tool which is our replication administration tool this tool uh, is available for a long time it is with Windows Server 2000 2003 and still we are using it this tool is very interesting because this is more focused on replic uh, to find out all the uh, issues with uh, replication AD replication related issues so if you want to uh, track all the logs uh, for in detail uh, investigation then we are putting slash verbose uh, switch here and again there are a lot of switches in this command as well to go through all the switches try to follow this link here and go through all the switches uh, let me show you uh, what we have in the switches so I am opening the technet article for rep admin so when you scroll down here you can see the standard syntax and here you can see all the switches so uh, let's say you want to force KCC for updating the replication topology then you just type rep admin space slash KCC likewise there are a lot of switches here you can use this and get your desired output alright so this is rep admin we use this for collecting logs for uh, troubleshooting air uh, replication related issues uh, if you want to run this the command will be rep admin exe uh, slash show, uh, show replication and the domain controller with which it is replicating the verbose log and then it will try to track all the logs here so I'm not running this command I'm already running one command over here let me see if it is done it's still running so it is going to gather a lot of information now we have another tool here that is net diag tool this tool is uh, uh, to isolate network connectivity related problems or issues okay and as I said this tool is not 
available anymore with Windows Server 2008 or later versions. So just to show you, in my 2008 machine, I have copied, downloaded and copied NetDiag tool. And if I directly run this command, it will try to gather all the logs. So I just wanted to show what kind of logs it will try to generate and how the output is different from DC Diag and uh, the output we are getting from Net Diag. So DC Diag is still running. Yep, I think Net Diag is done. So this is our output. It is in the same folder. So if I open this, here output is quite different. Here it checks all the network uh, IP address details of the domain and try to check whether it has all the uh, proper uh, network connectivity and uh, here you can say, uh, see that it is uh, not able to uh, pass the test with our gateway so these kind of so all network related uh, logs will be generated here right so when we use this tool so let's say you are installing exchange and you wish to check uh, that you can connect to other servers also when you are uh, troubleshooting or checking VPN network tunnels on the WAN then for uh, DNS problems to check uh, hotfix related issues to check network kind uh, card binding and uh, uh, problems with IP security, windshock corruption or uh, when domain controllers are not able to speak to our LDAP. So for all these scenarios you can use NetDiag and for other DC related issues you can use DC Diag and for replication related issues you can use rep admin and for NetDiag also I have explained uh, uh, all the scenarios and here is one samples uh, command slash v v is again for verbose it will try to log each and every information including warning information errors everything and um, uh, note this command need to be run on each DC of the domain so if you have three domain controllers in the domain and you want to collect the logs then run this in all the three and then collect the logs and to know more about this command here is again a follow-up article link you can go go to the technet and get more uh, details about the switches we have in net tag now since we have so many tools here and we have so many outputs it is very hard for us to remember uh, what to gather and how to start looking for it uh, and so many information is all in one text file or log file how to find what information is useful or not then here comes the uh, next part that is automation how uh, how can we automate these? I mean, you cannot just uh, run this command using some switches and try to analyze it. Maybe a good format will help you a lot. So, in my uh, coming blog post, I'm going to share one script that will uh, make your life more easy. So, the script is something like this. We have a batch file and in this script, Everything is uh, save, saved in a text file called adhealth.txt and it will try to run each and every important command. So it will try to run rep admin command, then uh, it will try to uh, run dc die command and it will generate all the output in a proper format so that you can understand overall infrastructure, the logs. And everything so I have already executed this uh, batch file because it is very time taking and you can see the execution is completed it will uh, show something like this on the command prompt and it is trying to save everything in C drive ad health.txt so let's check that uh, log file so we have ad health text file here so you can see a very nice output here. So if I want to know how many domain uh, controllers we have in this domain, that is Habib.com, we have two domains, um, two machines here, S1 and S2. If I want to see all the rep admin related errors here, it is giving all the errors listed here. And if I scroll down, I can see more replication summary than uh, KCC 
related output backup related information then uh, all the replication that happened recently my inbound neighbors so everything is uh, formatted uh, with my uh, uh, separate borders here and it's very easy to read now I can see my queue which is waiting for replication my bridgehead servers all the failures times and uh, inter-site topology generator related information so this is all coming from rep admin command so if I scroll down more I can see uh, the next part that is DC diag so from here I can get all the DC diag uh, output here so I have already showed you that uh, we have a S3 uh, uh, S3 server which is down and uh, which is not available at, uh, at this point so here the f uh, testing uh, test connectivity is failing likewise if you scroll down more you can get a lot of information and it will definitely help you to track down uh, the cause of issue that you are facing with your current domain controller replication on network or DNS so this is our very useful script I will uh, post this script in my blog uh, hopefully I will just give a download button you can directly download it and just save it and run in your infrastructure and uh, and troubleshoot all your issues okay so that's pretty much it so I hope you have uh, uh, you have understood all the concept all the tools that I mentioned here and I hope this was very helpful for you especially for the beginners who are not very sure uh, what all tools are available for diagnosing or for uh, logging purpose or to just collect information so um, I will post the blog and I will share the um, blog link very soon for now uh, this video is done and have a good day and thanks for watching this video